Hello my friends, Aaron Michael Eschenberg here. Today is Monday the 18th of February 2019. This is your daily horoscope. So we've got the moon in the middle now of Leo. Leo is our creative self-expression. It is our, our passion, kind of represents like our, our ego, if you will. As we've, you know, we learn self and Aries, then we know what we like, you know, the things that we like when we're in Taurus. Then we have our intelligence, okay, is Gemini. Then our emotions is Cancer. And then Leo is like, okay, I know who I am. You know, why I like a, you know, sweatshirt with a guitar on it and this particular hat or whatever you know so it's what makes up who we are as an individual so with the moon in this courageous self-expression you know sign of leo we're not afraid to truly embrace who we are and to be ourselves and to you know allow our our, our face to shine and to, to be in the light of the world you know we're not it's not a day where we're um lacking an opinion you know we have no problem yeah i'm going to express myself and tell you how i feel yeah uh, a leo telling you how they feel no you know um and the great thing about today is the moon is making a perfect trine up to jupiter in sagittarius which is more 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 so what are we feeding and fueling the ego today on this monday we're feeding it more more information more faith more faith in ourselves more faith in our education more faith in the community more faith in learning right learning something outside of ourselves learning you know uh, deepening our education deepening uh, these ideas and concepts that create who we are now, what's also happening today, this is a little bit later on today, we have the sun finally moving out of Aquarius and moving into Pisces. So we're done with the futuristic thinking, um, you know, the little, the, the, the water in between the air, making the connection, the electrical buzz that is the sign of Aquarius. Now we're moving into the more intuitive sign of Pisces. We're gonna get more in touch with, you know, our inner self, at the same time, our, our inner child and our higher self. Yeah, it's like being connected, grounded, or being connected spiritually. You know, some people are so flighty up here, some people are so grounded down here that there's no connection. You know, this is kind of that beautiful in between as there's so much earth happening, there's so much, uh, you know, up there in Capricorn that balances out all of this water, intuitive energy, all this, you know, intangible stuff. Capricorn is making that stuff very, very real right now, which is awesome. So it's like what we think, what we feel, what we imagine, what we dream becomes very, very, very real. So for the next 30 days, as the sun's going to be moving through Pisces, and we're again, we're all about expansion right now, expansion, 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 and expansion ourselves, expanding our own kind of will and our power and our yes attitude of, of getting through life. And we're getting on the, you know, we're getting to know ourselves even deeper. And again, the, the Pisces is the, um, it's like the 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 infant child as well as the Zen master. It's the completion. It's the it's the entirety. It's the the full spectrum. Yeah, from white to black, all the colors in between, all the knowledge is there, all the ability is there. You know, it's the fisherman, it's the fish, it's the it's the all-encompassed of everything. So when we're talking about Pisces, we reflect a lot. You know, we're we're coming to the end. The end of the zodiac. This is the end before Aries, the beginning again, the spark, the fire. And now we come with spring, you know. So this is the end of winter, the end of these times. So we can reflect and we can look back. You know, even though you know, December thirty first is the end of the year, we kind of look at Pisces time is the end and we really look and say how do we do how do we do over you know fall into winter how do we how do we sustain ourselves financially emotionally do we have everything we needed to do we you know how have we kept our health up you know when the when the weather changes all of these things so we're now we're able to kind of look back and really reflect on everything that's happened over the past year everything and we're still dealing with kind of that seven year cycle as here's another the fun aspect is you now this leads into kind of tomorrow but for the final time again over the seven years the moon is going to be trining now uranus 
in this fiery sign of Leo. So again, this is like a boost. And uh, now that's kind of more into to tomorrow's on Tuesday's big full moon tomorrow. Um, into Tuesday's stuff. But again, this is that, that boost. This is the last time this stuff is going to happen. So we're clearing out this seven-year cycle. And we're reminding ourselves who, I, who the heck I am. I know who I am. I know my fire. I know my passion. I know my drive. You know? And if a little weed can break concrete and sprout up through the, my freaking sidewalk or my driveway or, you know, we talked about that last week, tear down the Packard plant bridge, just a little weed, the will of a little weed. Your will is a thousand million times stronger than the will of that little tiny weed. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Trust in yourself. Expand, baby. It's a good day for it. I love you. I wish you enough, and we'll see you tomorrow.